sessions don't have any legal standing if, you know, Estebayat may have conceded, but if they count all the votes and he has more votes than Rango, he's the Democratic nominee. It uh, doesn't matter that he conceded. I mean, that same thing during the uh, special election that they had in the uh, in 27th Senate District in Brooklyn. People were writing, you know, Lou Fidler should concede. They, that way they'll stop wasting time by counting the votes. Well, they got to count the votes anyway. That's the law. You can't stop them from counting the votes, even if you know you lost. The most wasteful thing is that we're having uh, a June and September primary. Uh, the, we, New York has had a September primary since 1974, and they had to change it because of a federal law that requires absentee ballots to military personnel to be sent out early in September, which didn't give them enough time uh, if the primary is in the second week of September. Uh, the Assembly Democrats wanted to move the primary to June. The Senate Republicans wanted to move it to August, and they couldn't agree. So because of that, the federal judge had to pick a date. Uh, but the only thing he had jurisdiction over was the federal elections, U.S. Senate and Congress, because 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 it's a federalist system, local elections are run by the New York, by each state. So he fixed that the Senate and congressional elections would be in June, June 26 this year. Uh, but he said that the legislature, they still had time to change it, that they could pick any date as long as it was before, I forget, some date in August, which was the date that the Board of Elections said was, you know, their drop dead date to have the elections. And they could, and they could, if they wanted, make the congressional and the state all the other primary elections at the same time, but they couldn't agree. Uh, I'm still not. I've never heard a rational explanation about why the Republicans insisted on August uh, rather than June, but that they did, and they didn't come to an agreement. And because of that, I mean, I've been told it's going to cost the state, each local government, because the states don't. The state doesn't pay for the elections. Twenty million dollars this year to have the primary we just had in June and the primary we are going to have in September. So that's what's wasteful. Special elections are elections. I mean, you know, if there's a vacancy, if you don't have a special election, either some people are not going to be represented, or maybe there could be another way of replacing them by appointment, but. I don't know if people would be in favor of uh, appointing a state senator or an assemblyman or a city councilman if there's a vacancy. So I think those are, they may cost money, but I think they're necessary. Now they're children, it's not wasteful, but it's definitely undemocratic with a small d. Uh, they are not chosen for state legislature or Congress in a primary. They are chosen by the party committees. Uh, the rationale behind that is actually, one is to save money, because if you had a primary, that's an extra election, but the other is we wouldn't have enough time. Uh, that's sort of bogus, the time issue. Other states, including California, uh, have special elections that have primaries first, and then the regular election. Uh, that's actually changed. Now, California changed their whole system, but up until this year, that's the way California did it, and they were able to get their legislators and congressmen seated quickly enough that uh, it wasn't an issue. I think it's mainly that the party organizations like to pick their candidates without a uh, without having the voters interfering with them. City count New York City Council are actually elected in a nonpartisan special election, uh, so party leaders they can endorse and help a candidate, but they don't have the final say on who's going to be the you know, more than one Democrat can run, more than one Republican.